This video will show you how to find applications using the map and filters available in Development Eye. On the home page, click on the map search button. Here you are presented with the default list and map view of in progress development applications across the Sunshine Coast local government area. If you do not have a specific location or application number, you can simply use the filters and map view to find an area or application of interest to you. At this level, you will notice several green dots. This means there are too many applications to display them all. So to get a smaller list, you can either zoom in on the map by scrolling on your mouse or by clicking on the black plus symbol on the right hand side of your screen. Alternatively, you can modify the filters. As you zoom in, you will notice the applications on the list view will change to reflect the applications seen on the map. You can move the map around to an area of interest to you by simply clicking and holding your mouse and moving it around. If you are using a mobile device, you can just move your finger across the map to the location that you are interested in. Once the dots on the map turn blue, you can click on the individual dots to view more information about those specific applications. You can explore the details of these applications by clicking on the details button from the application details pop-up. You may wish to zoom to another application that is of interest to you. If you want to go back to your list, you can simply click on the zoom back button on the right hand side of the screen. Rather than looking at applications, you may want to base your search around a specific property. You can zoom in on the map, drop a pin, and even move this pin to the location that you are interested in. This is the same process as searching for a property in the Location tab. When you have found the property that you are interested in, click on Surrounding Applications to show applications based on your filters you have selected. The other method to narrow your search results and find applications of interest to you is to use the filters available. The default setting have the application filter stage set to in progress and application group filter set to development. The date range filter will help you narrow your search results down to a certain date range period. As an example, you may want to know what applications were submitted to council last month or how many have been submitted this month. You may not want to know submitted applications, however, decided applications. You have the option to change your search by simply amending your date selection to decided. When you do this, you will also need to change your application stage filter from in progress to decided or passed. To clear your selected date range, just click on the cross next to the date range drop down menu. The use filter has categorised application types into specific use groups to assist in narrowing down your search. The uses listed are specific to the application type selected and will change depending on what has been selected. As an example, if you have the development group selected, the uses in the drop down list are specific to the application group and will show the top level use group such as community and then the second level community uses underneath such as childcare. If you change the group to building, you will notice that the uses in the drop down list have changed and are now specific to building applications. The application type filter is a list of the type of applications that can be lodged. The same as the use filter, the application types are dependent on what application group you have selected, development, building or plumbing. If you have development selected, the application types in the drop down list are only relevant to the development group. If you have selected material change of use, the map view will change and show only in progress material change of use development applications. If you change the selection to reconfiguring a lot, the map will subsequently change again and now show only in progress reconfiguring a lot development applications. As another example, if you change your primary group from development to building, 
you will notice that the list of application types has changed to reflect this. If you then select Building Private Certification like before, the map will change and only show In Progress Private Certification Applications. The last filter available is the assessment level. The default is to show all assessment levels. However, you can change this to just show only in progress code assessment, impact assessment, or other assessment level applications. As an example, if you change your application group back to development and change the assessment level to code, the map view will change and now only display in progress development applications that are code accessible. You are able to reset your filters at any time by clicking on the reset filters button. This will change your list and map view back to the default settings and show all in progress development applications across the Sunshine Coast local government area. Further explanation about what the different terms mean and what is in each filter can be found by clicking the site glossary information button to the right of the filters. This video provides you with a good overview on how to search applications in Development Eye using the filters available. Further how-to videos and additional supporting material is available on the Development Eye webpage on Council's website.